What's crackalacking guys? I'm a Duck Quack here and welcome back to another episode in our How Much series. So this week we see international games and we've got a break from all the leagues. And because of this a lot of, I don't know, confusions come into the market. So some player prices have dropped massively, where some have hold their value, some have increased. It's a bit weird what's been going on. So the players we look at, we're going to base around the value going into next week's league games again and hopefully expecting the same kind of patterns we saw before this. So as you can see, we've got the first player here, which is Mali, the new center attack in mid for Wolfsburg. Now currently on Xbox, you can pick him up for 21,500, and on PlayStation, 27,000. Now on hype, going into a match game, on PlayStation, he rises to 36,000. So that's a 9,000 coin increase, just off the hype alone. And on Xbox, he goes up from the 21,500, not far off the 30,000 mark, so again, almost 9,000 coins again. Now, I'm guessing the reason he's dropped is because of the nationality he's in. So he plays for Turkey. I'm not sure of Turkey's fixtures, but I'm going to assume that they don't really expect him to do much. Then next week, when he comes back for Wolfsburg, we can get back into the pattern of him following the same procedure and rising again. So guys, the second player we're going to have a little look at here is going to be Gabi Adini. Now, if we're on Xbox, his one to watch card has been hovering at at least 100,000 for the last few weeks. He's finally come down to a level of under 80,000 coins, 78,500 on Xbox, and he's currently about 90,000, maybe just under on PlayStation 4. Now, this is a huge potential for investment. I mean, Italy's coming up for some national games over the next few days. Now, I haven't actually researched them, so I'm not entirely sure who they're playing. I may actually just try and look that up while I'm talking here, see if I can find any information on it. But either way, the hype alone from him and the way he's been playing for Southampton, he's just due to get something out of these games. He's been an absolute goal machine. And the next time he scores, maybe one, maybe two, he's going to go through the roof on price. Now, if we think about Italy starting 11, they don't have any massive strikers that are on form. They had the likes of Pele, who was actually getting game time for them. But now Gabi Adini's on the scene. There's a very good chance that he could start, and they're playing Albania in a couple of days' time. So, there's going to be an easy game if he does get a starting place in there. Especially because it's not friendly, it's a World Cup qualifier. Then... One goal, two goals, and his price is going to rocket. We could easily see it doubling to 150, 160,000. And even if it doesn't change in price, we just hold it for the next game week. He's going to get more goals down the line. This is one of those investments that you don't necessarily need to sell off hype. You can probably sell when he scores. Obviously, if you're doing it this way, it's a little bit more of a risk than buying players and selling off hype. But sometimes it's fun to take a gamble. It's fun to roll the dice and just see what happens. Right guys, so we're going to come on to the Bundesliga now. Now I've recently put together teams in preparation for this league SBC. When it's going to be released I have no idea, but it came to help me realise a few things. So if we look at Borussia Dortmund, they have a pretty low rated player base, but are one of the biggest teams in the league. So to assume that they're going to have a low overall team rating for a Lewandowski card seems a bit unrealistic to me. Now, I'm not saying you're going to need Royce or you're going to need Obama Yang, but they're the only two big names they've got. So if you don't need them, it feels fairly safe to say that you're going to need some other big players in it. Now, the likes of Socrates, they have risen. They're about 3,000 coins just for his 84 rated card. And if we have a look at the other bigger rated player, which is Goethe, uh, which is spelt with a T, then we can find he's currently going for about 2,500 coins. Oh, maybe a little bit more, maybe 2,700 now. So, 2,500, although that's probably a glitch. Anyway, the problem with these investments are they're a little bit expensive. If they aren't needed, you're going to lose money on them. But if they are needed, you're going to win big on them, provided it's released fairly soon. This being said, it also covers a potential Team of the Week squad builder challenge. But at the same time, there are cheaper 84 rated, 85 rated cards available for you to go for. So this one's a little bit of a gamble and it's all going to come down to whether or not you feel that Goethe and Socrates are going to be needed in the league SBC. If you feel that they are, they could be a fantastic purchase. If you feel that they're not, just completely avoid them and look elsewhere. Okay guys, that brings us on to another player in the Bundesliga. This time it's for Bayern Munich and we're going to look at Thomas Müller. Now he's currently going for just under 10,000 coins on Xbox 
and about 15,000 coins on PlayStation. Now, the reason that I like this guy so much is, firstly, he's an 87-rated card. When you're coming to complete buy-in, I'm hoping, or I expect at least, that the rating requirements are going to be pretty decent. There's no other massive teams in the Bundesliga. There's nothing to match the likes of Real Madrid or even the Atletico or Barcelona squad builder challenges, but they could make buying expensive. Now, you could invest in players like Hummels or Lahm, but the problem is that there's alternatives in their position. They may not be quite as high rated, but the price of Lahm is about 15, 16,000 coins, so almost double what Muller's worth. And you've got different players you can play there. You can play a centre back there. You can play um, Rafina there, who's 78 rated, so it's not fantastic, but it works. If you look at the strike force at Bayern Munich, you have Muller and you have Lewandowski, and that is it. Yes, you can convert midfielders up to a striker, but you're going to have to convert them from centre mid to cam to striker. That already adds five, 6,000 coins onto your investment. This guy, he comes as a centre forward, so he's ready to go. He's 87 rated, which is huge. He's not as big as Lewandowski. And whether you need a fairly low rated team or a high rated team, I've just got a feeling that this guy could be a staple in it. And at 9,600 coins on Xbox or 15,000 coins on PlayStation, it just makes too much sense to buy him. Right guys, the final player we're going to look at is one that I've only just decided to include in this video. While I was looking through all the team of the weeks to see the player fluctuations recently and checking some of the other high rated players to see how they've changed, I just realised that Berkey, the keeper for Borussia Dortmund, has made the team of the week. It just completely went over my head. Now this goes one of two ways. Let's assume that the squad builder challenge comes out for Lewandowski and the team ratings are low, like the Higuain one, then this guy's going to hold no value to you. Let's assume they come out and a couple of teams are high, like Real Madrid, Barcelona and Atletico. Now, the cost of that squad builder challenge can't be quite as high as Suarez's was, because Suarez is a much more in-demand, bigger, better card. But it can't be quite as low as Higuain's was, because there's a load of Higuain informs on the market, and the demand isn't there, so the price of him's right down at the bottom, basically, for such a top-tier player. He's somewhere in the middle of the two, so it's safe to assume that the uh, squad builder challenge should cost somewhere around four, 500,000 coins. Now, I've completed the whole team. I've bought big players from every club, the best possible in most cases, including an inform for Bayern Munich. Uh, everyone except Robin and Lewandowski and Boateng, I think. So pretty much all the big names. And it's come to about 270,000 coins. Now, it's safe to assume that when you come to buy them after the release of the Squad Builder Challenge, it'll rise by at least 100,000. So that puts us at about 370,000 coins. Now, there is a chance that the Borussia Dortmund team could require you to have the likes of Aubameyang or Royce. If that is an option and you do need him, then Berkey's inform card could be a potential different route to it, if you like. Now, I'm not advising we go out and pick him up for 20,000 coins. This team of the week was only released a few hours ago, and he's already selling for 20,000 coins. At some point over this week, he will drop to discard, or at least very close to discard. Firstly, he's a pretty sweet-looking goalkeeper for a Bundesliga team. And secondly, if you're picking him up for that kind of price, you literally have no risk, but a massive amount of profit to be made if for any reason he is required. Now, the only other fairly reasonably priced informs I can think of for Borussia Dortmund would be Socrates, and he's 50, 60,000. So this could be a massive investment. Just wait a few days, maybe wait until after awards. During rewards tomorrow, actually, you might be able to pick this guy up for about 12, 13,000 coins. I feel like that would be a steal just because of the potential he carries. Even if we make a couple of thousand coins loss over a couple of these cards, it won't be the end of the world. It's not a risk free investment. There is an element of risk to it, but we can minimize that risk. And if the gamble pays off in our favor, we could make an absolute fortune with this guy. Right, guys, so I hope you're still enjoying the series and you're finding all of this useful. If you've got any feedback or you want to see anything different added or changed within this, let me know down in the comments. If you did enjoy the video, if you can drop a like. And if you're new, subscribe. That would be incredible as well. And again, guys, thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you next time.